today is all about pre-loved goodies. Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Over the last few weeks, I've added a few pre-loved items into my collection. So today I wanted to share those pieces, talk a little bit about them, give you the story behind them, and also share the prices that I paid for them because on one item, in my opinion, I think I got a killer deal. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so the first item, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys have already seen it. I'm just gonna get right into it and then <laughs> I'll follow up with the story. Uh, so the first item is the Louis Vuitton Agenda in a size medium in the monogram canvas. Uh, so this guy, I actually picked up while I was doing a little bit of antiquing. You guys know how I feel about going to antique stores. I live for it. And usually when I go antiquing, I have zero luck with any luxury goods or if I find them, they're usually fake. So I was <laughs> pleasantly surprised when I saw this. It came with a dust bag. Uh, so I had to check it out and I paid. Are you ready for this? I think I got a killer deal. So this is the one that I was talking about earlier. I paid $125 for it. I was like, what? And the cool thing is, is that I had been looking at going for a medium agenda. You guys know that I do have the two GMs and I use those for work. I've had the small, I find the small to be a little too small, but I wanted the medium because I wanted something that was a little bit more manageable for me to carry in my, in the majority of my bags. And I didn't want to use my large one for personal and for work. So I was like, oh, I thought about going for a medium. So like I said, when I saw this, I was like, there is, there's no way. There's there's no way. Uh, and I have gotten all these items authenticated and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So 125 bucks. Uh, this item is from 2001. So it is considered vintage, although I, I don't consider that vintage, but what have you. Uh, and it is like in perfect, perfect, perfect condition. I'm like so excited. I can't even, I can't even, I, I'm not, I'm not speaking properly, but it did come with the ruler. It came not with this paper, uh, but it came with Louis Vuitton paper, Louis Vuitton notes. It also came with some stickers. I mean, I was like, what? There is no way. So I already went ahead and let me show you the stickers really quickly. So there's the stickers. Look at that. I was like, this is amazing. And like I said, the condition that this thing is in, it's like, I don't think it was ever used in all honesty. I don't think it was ever used. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Uh, so I already went ahead and picked up some, um, some of these little guys, these little inserts. Uh, I took out April because I have, <laughs> I have some stuff written on there. Uh, and I also picked up some extra plain note paper from Etsy. And I will put the Etsy shops down below if you guys are interested. I think on the regular size line paper, which I find to be a lot more, uh, a lot easier for me because I tend to write really large and doodle and whatnot. Um, I think I pay like 14 bucks for this. And then the other one, maybe it wasn't Etsy. I think it was Amazon to be to be honest. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to double check. And these like to do ones also have the, uh, the month in review or what, or, or whatever it is. So these guys, I think it was like 11 bucks. I don't know. But like I said, I, I will put links to it on the description box below. Um, but yeah, so I was, I was stoked 125 bucks for a, for an agenda from 2001 that looks like it was never used. I think I majorly, majorly scored. And the pen that I am using uh, for it is my Swarovski uh, silver pen. Uh, but I love it. I love it. I was like, dude, this is amazing. And it's, it's in perfect condition. Like there's nothing wrong with it. So majorly, majorly scored on that one. And I also just wanted to show you guys a quick size comparison. If you're looking at agendas, uh, between the GM and the, and the medium, hang on, there we go. So like I said, I love the, the GM for work. Uh, it's a lot easier for me. Uh, but the, uh, the medium is perfect for like every day and I'm able to fit this in the majority of my bag. So I thought that was amazing. Now the other two items are both handbags, but let's go with the Louis Vuitton bag first. Here it is in its dust bag. Now I have had this item in the past and in the past I loved it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. At the same time, it had a feature on it that I didn't find to be as user friendly as I would have liked. So obviously I, uh, I sold it. But uh, once I saw it again, I got the warm and fuzzies, my heart started to pitter patter, and I was like, you know what, I, th I think it's time to bring it back, and I will tell you the reason why. But the item that I repurchased, if you will, <laughs> is the 
Louis Vuitton backpack in the GM size in the monogram canvas. So like I said, I've had this item in the past and in the past I loved it, I enjoyed it, but the one thing that I found to be kind of annoying was the drawstring closure. Just because I didn't find it to be very user-friendly. Sometimes I would be at the checkout or sometimes I'd leave it open, sometimes I'd cinch it all the way. I don't know, but I, I really struggled with this drawstring closure. Uh, and the funny thing is, is that now that I own and enjoy and love the Louis Vuitton Petite Noé in the multicolor white and the Nano Noé, which both have the drawstring closures, I don't find the drawstring closure to be a deal breaker in anymore. So like I said, when I saw this, my eyes totally lit up and that's why I decided to, <laughs> to bring it back for sure. So let me take out the stuffing so I can bring it up and it doesn't make a bunch of bunch of noise either. Oh yeah, you know I stuff these <laughs> bags with air paper. Uh, okay, so this item is from 2005. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And what I always, it, what I always loved and appreciated about this GM backpack were the straps. The MM and the uh, the PM do have the leather straps, but I loved how comfortable these were. I like the fact that you have adjustments on them as well, and it's just. It's just a large backpack, you know what I mean? It's perfect for travel, it's perfect for, I don't know, if you're, if you're just for whatever, all right? <laughs> for whatever, but look at how spacious it is. It's just one giant compartment with one little slip pocket there, and uh, I, I think it is amazing. Now, it does have quite a bit of, um, quite a bit of wear. It has, it has some character, it has a story, uh, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's too beat up considering that it is from 2005. Uh, so I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty amazing. And uh, it has like a honey golden color. There we go. But it's not, it's definitely not too bad, right? Definitely not too bad. So this guy, I actually picked up at a Louis Vuitton trunk show. I got in contact with a, uh, with a previous client of mine and I used to help uh, sell some of her goodies. And she invited me to her trunk show and my goodness, she had and continues to have one of the largest collections I have ever seen in my life. And it's not just Louis Vuitton. She has like every single brand under the sun. Uh, and it's, it's amazing to see. She can honestly open a boutique like, and you would think it's a, like a legitimate store. That's how that's how many items she has. It's it's amazing to see. Uh, so for the Louis Vuitton trunk show, uh, she had uh, newer pieces, she had old pieces, she had vintage pieces, discontinued pieces, what have you. She had so much there and she invited quite a few of us. So the fact that I was able to go and see these pieces and the fact that I was able to get this item there totally made, like, like made my day. Uh, I paid 575 bucks for this bag. I think that's a pretty good price uh, considering it is the GM and like I said before it does have some love to it it does have uh, quite a bit of character but I don't think it's um I don't think it's too bad to be completely honest uh so I think uh, I think that was a good price you know and um it's just it's really nice to have it back in my collection because it's I don't know it kind of it kind of reminds me of what I used to do with my older one you know I don't know if that makes any sense, but it brings back all those me all those memories. Like it brings it back so vividly uh, that it's it's kind of crazy. So this one, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> this is gonna be a forever item. But what do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? That trunk show. <laughs> I was like, I wanted. There were so many items that I was, I was like, ooh, we should go for this and we should go for that. But at the same time, I was like, no. You need to relax. You need to relax. Uh, but um, I walked away with this one, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, and especially at that at that price. So I love it. Very very comfortable. I know a lot of people prefer like the medium and the PM size, just because they are a lot more manageable than this guy. Um, but it's just it's so easy. You know what I mean? It's so easy, and it's good. It's good. 
<laughs> so I am super, super happy about uh, re-adding this item back into my collection. I am all over the place with this video because I completely forgot to talk about the front pocket on this backpack, but it does have a zipper closure, very smooth zipper, but there we go. I love how spacious it is. I love the fact that it's just an open compartment. It doesn't have any slip pockets. It doesn't have any interior zippers, so you can really end up maximizing this space. And this is perfect to use for like easy access items. So if you wanted to put your keys in here, if you wanted to put your phone in here or a card holder, I think that this is absolutely perfect. So I just had to share that because I was like, dude, you didn't, you didn't even talk about the front pocket before. But anywho, now the other handbag is from Fendi. I got this from the same lady, not the same day because the trunk show was strictly Louis Vuitton, but I did get it from her. Now this handbag, I have been on the hunt for this bag for the last eight months to a year. And I have I have put out alerts everywhere, be it Yogi's Closet, Fashion File, I have looked high and low, and I, I haven't been able to find it in the size that I want, in the condition that I'm looking for, or for the price that I want to pay for it. Sometimes I find one that, you know, that kind of checked off one box or two boxes, but not all three. Uh, so when, <laughs> when I saw this one, it immediately checked off all those marks and I couldn't be happier. Uh, this is a massive, massive bag. It's definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea, uh, just because it is so insanely loud. Uh, but I mean, you guys, you guys know how I roll, but the bag that I'm talking about is the beautiful Fendi Mia in the size large. Like I said, this bag is massive. Quiet luxury who? Not this girl. Uh-uh. But I, I love, love, love this bag. I like the smaller one. I think that the smaller one is great, but the larger one to me just... Ah, I think it is amazing. It's from circa 2008, 2009. And I love the fabric, the condition. It's in, I mean, beautiful, beautiful condition. Uh, it does have some hairline scratches on the, uh, on, the, on the hardware here. Not too bad. It does have some patent leather. I'm going to give you guys a full tour of it. So give me a second. Let me, let me unstuff it. Now for this one, I paid 700 bucks. And uh, like I said, for the condition that it's in, I think, uh, I think that's a really, really great price. But peep it out. So it is a fabric bag, very, very massive, very, very beautiful. It doesn't have any feet along the bottom. Uh, you do have the patent brown leather uh, woven throughout the, uh, the chain. And then you also have it on this front little plate here. The plate does have a little indentation uh, right there. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but it's not too, too bad. Uh, and then on the interior, peep it out. You have one center zippered compartment and then two large compartments. This compartment doesn't have any, uh, any pockets. It doesn't have anything on there, but this one does. It has two little slip pockets there and it says made in Italy Fendi. It still, it still has the sticker on there. And it also has like the hologram, uh, that, uh, that it's supposed to have, but I love this chunky zipper. I think it is, I think it is gorgeous. So like I said, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love how massive it is. I like the fact that it has those two little dividers. And I also like the fact that this is very flexible because sometimes the center dividers I think are a pain in the ass uh, because I feel like sometimes they take up way too much space and it really, it really it doesn't help. It, doesn't, it really doesn't help you carry more or sometimes I feel like it, it kind of, it's very cumbersome, you know? So the fact that this one is flexible, I think is great. But look at this. I mean, it fits on my shoulder. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. It's so comfortable. And the fact that I was able, that I was able to find it in the condition, in the, the size that I want and for the price that I wanted to pay, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Like I did not expect to, to find it. I felt like it was like a unicorn, you know, because everywhere that I saw, as I said previously, it was only like, it was the size, but it was in terrible condition and they wanted like 1200 bucks for it. Or, you know, it was this or that. It was, I don't know, but <laughs> the stars definitely aligned that day. And you know, this, this baby was able to come home with me. So the Fendi Mia or the Mia tote, um, the, the small is super cute but the large, the large just, I think is awesome. And this material, it reminds me so much of my mama baguette. 
um, and it's awesome. It's absolutely amazing. So super, super excited about that. Now, I wanted to talk about uh, where I got these items authentic or where I get these items authenticated because I do get a lot of questions uh, when it comes to pre-love goodies. And um, this is not a sponsored video, all right? This is not a sponsored video. Like I said, I'm just sharing information with you. But one of the places that I like to use uh, to get my items authenticated is real authentication. You guys have heard me talk about them before. But uh, I like to get my items double, triple authenticated. I don't care where it's coming from. It gives me peace of mind. I don't think that's a bad thing. So I like to get them, you know, double, triple authenticated, even if I know where they're coming from. Again, just because it gives me peace of mind. So I love real authentication because they have such a great range of services. So you can either do a one hour turnaround time. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, you can also, if you're looking at something online and you don't have the item with you, you can send them links to whatever website you're looking to buy something and they'll be able to, to authenticate it if they can uh, through that website. Uh, and they also have like a 24 hour service. If you ever buy something that uh, ends up being a fake, they also help you with the paperwork that you need in order to like fight with uh, whatever company to, to get your money back or what have you. So like I said, they have a huge range of, uh, of services and they, they are absolutely amazing. I mean, they are insanely thorough. I think I probably sent maybe, I don't know, like a ton of pictures to get my items authenticated and they are just absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Um, I do, I do have a code that gives you $5 off full transparency because you know how I roll full transparency. If you use that code, it gets you $5 off of your authentication and it gives me $5 off a of future authentication. And this is not like a special thing just for me. If you sign up for, if you have an account with real authentication, you'll get a code too that you can then in turn share with, with your friends and family. So like I said, not sponsored. This, this is like no, <laughs> you guys know how I roll. I am just sharing information with you. Uh, but real authentication is definitely one of my favorite places to get, you know, pieces uh, authenticated. And if you don't send them, like it, let's say that, um, you know, you don't send them enough pictures, they need more pictures, they will send you an email saying, we need more pictures of this, we need a clearer picture of that or what have you. Like I said, very, very, very thorough. So I think that they are amazing. But that does it for this video. That does it for my pre-love goodies. I am super excited about them. I think I got some really, you know, some really, really great prices, especially on that Agenda MM or uh, Medium Agenda. Um, but yeah, but I would love to know what are some items that are on your radar when it comes to pre-love goodies or what is some, some pre-love goodies that you have been able to, to purchase lately, let us know in the comment section down below. And I find that it's getting a little bit harder to, to get some pre-love goodies at, you know, killer prices. Kind of like before. Before, I felt like it was a lot easier. Uh, but there is something, at least in my opinion, that's very exhilarating about finding a an item that you're looking for. Uh, the hunt for it is very it's like, to me, it kind of gives me a rush. But then when I find the item that I'm looking for, it's like, I can't even put into words <laughs> like how happy that makes me, especially when it checks off all those marks, like I said before, the price, the condition, uh, the size of the age or what have you. Uh, but I, I love the pre-love market. And what I love about it is the fact that so many of these pieces have history. So many of these pieces have a story and, um, I mean, in some cases and most cases, when it comes to older pieces, they just have better, better quality. You know what I mean? Like with that backpack or the agenda, they just feel, they just feel like the, the, the thickness that you have in it, you know, or the, the Mia, I like it big. I like it chunky. Ooh, like that song. I like them big. I like them chunky. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. I'm, I'm all over the place when it comes to this video, but I digress. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you would like to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.